better and on a faster pace than I thought they would be. And they're well coached. They play hard and they play angry and they, they're playing to prove something. And I did the Oregon State game and I said after that game, boy, I think they'll get eight wins. And I just watched them manhandle Brigham Young, who took UCLA to the brink and it was 31 nothing at halftime. And so I said on the radio show back in Columbus today that I, I think uh, they can make an argument for maybe a top 10 team, but at least a top 15 team. I think they're that good. If the quarterback gets a little better and a little more consistent, uh, they're as good as anybody. You know, we've seen a couple of times the last six, seven years, Michigan have really good Septembers, but then struggle when they get into the Big Ten. Is this a different type of Michigan team? Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's a different type of team because uh, their defense is outstanding and their offensive line is really, really good. Uh, where they're lacking a little bit. And then they're not bad players. They're still very good players, but uh, they don't have the depth at the skill positions. And, and the quarterback play needs to get a little more consistent. Then they'll be really, really good. But they're well coached, and but they, they're, they're on a mission, and they're playing like it. Let's talk about Ohio State right now. Linebacker play really spearheading a defense that looks to be back to where we've gotten used to Ohio State defense to be in the 80s, 90s, and up until a few years ago. Except when Western Michigan runs for 169 yards, which isn't acceptable. But overall, all the positions are, are playing really well. I mean, I think Joey Bose is the best player in the country, and he's very difficult. Even you know when he's not making a play, he's causing headaches for offenses. So the defense is, uh, is playing well. Probably had their worst game. And you can, it's nice to say, giving up 12 points, that that's our worst game of the year so far. But and I think the offense uh, showed some good signs. And when I see Urban Meyer smiling and saying that we're on track, uh, that's a good thing. He wasn't saying that after Northern Illinois. Taking on Indiana on Saturday, Hoosiers traditionally have played a 3-4, which has given the Buckeyes fits the last couple of years. But the last couple of games, they've been going more of a 4-3, a traditional look, which Ohio State seems to play against better. Do you think you're going to see the Hoosiers go back to that 3-4 because it's given Ohio State fits? Well, I think you can, if they have the ability, you do both and, and make Ohio State adjust. But I don't. it, it shouldn't be a problem. It's not that hard it, to, to block. I mean, they, they've seen it enough where and they're veteran enough where you go to sidelines, okay, they're doing this, this is what we're going to do. If they do this, this is what we're going to do. It's really not that complicated. You look at this Ohio State team this year, and obviously you've always got the high expectations, but this year through the roof. And I think something that Urban said today was, you know, or actually it was Tim Hinton that said, you know, there was no panic. This is the normal growing pains. Do you think Ohio State's where they need to be or where they should be at this point in the season? Um, the best way I can answer that would be, I look at last year after four games, and I look at this year after four games, and I can confidently say they're ahead of where they were last year. Now, they have to keep getting better each week, and an Urban Meyer coach team usually does.